What's up you guys, Paige here. It's been another incredible year for the women's division with breakout moments for a new generation of WWE superstars, all of whom are doing things that 10 or 15 years ago, we thought we might never get to see. Today, I'm joined by NXT Women's Champion, Kaylee Ray, who also changed the game for so many women within the UK and the US. What's up, Kaylee? Hi, Paige, how's it going? I'm very oh, excited to be here with you today. Thank you for having me. Can I just start off with Leah? First of all, I've always, she's always been a huge hero of mine. Like I dressed up as her for Halloween. Like I was like, I am Leah. For me, I feel like I have such a different story to a lot of people. Like I didn't grow up watching wrestling. I started watching wrestling when I started training. So Trish and Leah was a match that every person that I spoke to when I started told me I had to watch. Like, mm -hmm. people repeatedly put it on the TV because it was one of those matches that you had to watch. And I can completely see why these two women went out there and they gave it everything. And it just shows, like, what women can do when they're given the chance. It took a while for people to take... It just it goes through stages sometimes back then where they didn't take the women seriously and then Trish and Lita put on this, like, freaking this incredible match uh, and then everyone was yeah. just like oh we didn't take notice of these women they know what they're doing in there you know what i mean here she yeah. is Look do you know that. what I, I feel like i'm just gonna sit and watch this oh i Ooh. give everything no, absolutely friends. everything yeah <laughs> oh they did they did <sighs> the, just the incredible part is they got time as well they got time to really showcase what they can do yeah. and people mm -hmm. were on the mm -hmm. feet i mean these ladies got bigger pops than the men back then i feel like right i just feel like they yeah, got uh -huh. and i feel like even though Kaylee, like you only started watching in 2008 right you already knew who mm -hmm. trish and leah was and like everyone yeah. even if you weren't the biggest wrestling fan you knew who these ladies were like they were they made yeah, such uh -huh. an impact someone telling me doesn't it's not the same experience like i had to go and watch that myself i had to see this yeah yeah to know that like, these women are amazing athlete and as oh, we said like it just shows what they can do when they're given time when they're given the opportunity to do something but she was so edgy and i just remember being like damn i want to be like her you know where like i yeah, she stands right. out yeah. mm -hmm. like you feel like you can be completely yourself because she was completely herself and i feel like that's yeah, so uh -huh. inspiring that's so inspiring and yeah. then even trish she went from just like this beautiful face to just this complete badass. Like, she reminds me of like, you know, the Bellas, for example, because the Bellas, they trained every single day to perfect their craft constantly. And they became such wonderful wrestlers because they took the time because they wanted to get better and they wanted to prove everyone wrong too. All the women that I've come across, it's just, it's an eagerness to do better every single time, to mm -hmm. train and learn more. And like, I love seeing that. I love everybody getting, inspired and getting that like all right now we can actually do something did you ever think that there would be an all women's raw rumble or even a main event at wrestlemania because i didn't main events at wrestlemania your own own pay-per-views like it's it's unreal and i don't know if if Lee and trish at that time would have thought then is this a possibility but like i hope they did i hope yeah. there was that little part of them that was like we could push this and something can be done from this and I hope we've all done them proud. I didn't get to be a part of the Royal Rumble because unfortunately my injury took me out just before it, which was so sad, but it was such a bittersweet moment because then I got to sit back and just watch just everyone just before they went out to the Royal Rumble. Like people, women, you know, we're emotional creatures. Okay, you guys. All right. Yeah. We're emotional creatures. So as soon as we like, I see people walking out, like I was crying for people. I was like, Mm -hmm. I'm so proud of you. This is such an amazing moment. Mm -hmm. And then, like, for you yourself, not being able to be part of that, but still standing backstage and still encouraging people and feeling that emotion for people, even though you couldn't yourself, is what we need in this business. We need women like that, supporting each other, as you said, fixing each other's crowns, and we've got a good bunch of women here that do that. So The first pay-per-view ever to be on the WWE Network was the one where I won the, won the NXT Women's Championship for the first time, right? And that was a lot of oh, pressure. Yeah, that's the first thing they're going to see on the network. And that's the first women's match they're going to see on the network. I just want to give some love to Emma, to Neil too, because I feel like she doesn't get enough love. 
from this match. She doesn't get tagged in a lot of things, and she doesn't get this. And I just want to give her a big shout out because she deserves it because she went above all over NXT, over at FCW. You know, it was Emma and I, and then everyone else started coming in. But I really enjoyed this match. It was a lot of freaking pressure. And I still remember back then, Hunter was like, okay, we're going to give you some time. And I was like, what? And I remember we were allowed to do a double suplex from the top rope, and that was the biggest thing we could do. But we were so excited. We were just like, finally, we get to do a big move from the top rope. This is groundbreaking, you know? Do you know, I've so actually seen the interviews where girls are mentioning that. Like, that's the first time they'd seen girls doing something like that. And that inspired yeah. them as well. And it is, it's a big it's a massive moment like with the Lita and Trish match this is another one that was just you were given something and you mm. took it and you absolutely ran with it and thank you in these moments you went out there and showed that no we do deserve this we do deserve everything that you're giving us and more we didn't know who was going to be the champ right they didn't tell us I, like anything and I, I don't know if they're still doing that because I'm not in the matches anymore but like <laughs> They were like, okay, we need like two different finishes, whether it be Emma winning or whether it be you winning. And then we'll just figure it out when we're out there. And I'm just like, okay, this is a lot of pressure for like, you know, it being the first women's match on a, on the network as well. You know, and I'm like, it's a long one too. I'm like, oh my gosh. I mean, without Emma in there, I probably would have freaked out even more. She was such a crutch for me. She was wonderful. Is there any match in, in your NXT career, whether it be in NXT or UK, that really stands out for you mostly? Or is it just when you became the champ, baby? <laughs> yeah, when I became champ. Um, <laughs> actually, I think I think the three-way was yeah. uh, my favorite moment to take over with uh, Piper and Tony. And you know, there's mm -hmm. just, there's a moment. And I think sometimes I don't stand back and really appreciate what's going on. Um, but there was one moment in this match, and I was actually on, I was underneath. Um, I'd taken a Canadian destroyer off Piper. Tony had come in, <laughs> back her off, and was hitting me. Yep, had was hitting me mid <laughs> uh, Tiger Driver. And like in that moment, I could just see people rising to their feet. Like that was the finish. And you know it just got in my head and I was like, I cannot wait to get this shoulder up. Like it just mm -hmm. it drives you even more. Like I can yeah. you can hit a move and you can stand there and take in your crowd reaction, but see to be on the receiving end and know that yeah. they're doing that for somebody else. So that moment when I kicked out and just seen everybody's face like, Oh not like it was it was a cool moment for me. It's just really inspiring for a lot of women. They were just like, because there's gonna be women, even little girls, that are watching, and they're gonna be like, damn, I want to be like Kaylee Ray one day. I feel like I've got the freedom to do most of the things I want um, within reason. <laughs> um, but what's <laughs> the next generation? Do you know what I mean? Like, what is the next group of girls going to be coming out with? And that's really exciting for me to think about. How big was the May Young tournament for highlighting international talent? Would you say? It's hard to find the words because it was so important for for all of us. Um, girls straight off the bat were getting signs. Mm -hmm. um, NXT UK became a thing, and girls went straight from that into the second May Young. And it's just from that you had Tony Storm and Io Shirai going on a, a pay per view for all women. Um, yeah. Absolutely incredible. Yeah. These are just the things I can name off the top of my head. You know what I mean? Like it's opened so many doors for us, so many avenues, and yeah. mm -hmm. I, like I really hope there's another one round the corner soon. Because it was it was so strange because I was the only international girl in the locker room, right? So then like then everyone just started pouring in, and I was like, this feels like home now. Like it feels wonderful mm -hmm. to have yeah, just everyone to be a part of it. Do you think without NXT, there would be a women's revolution there? The women's roster at that time, I think, were strong girls, but I think NXT allowing you to do things that girls didn't necessarily do, and you've shown yeah. that, right, this, this is, we can do this, and we can do it pretty well, actually. Um, what else you got? Definitely helped. Like, I definitely think that those eyes on you to go, right, now these girls are talented, and we think we should give them a chance. Like, I definitely think yeah. that was a big step for all of us. 
going up onto the main roster, again, it was like, it was by myself, right? And again, it was still in that stage where girls weren't given the time after I just got given time in NXT to then make my debut. And then my first match, this is the night after WrestleMania. So there's a lot of international people in the crowd, right? So I got this massive eruption, right? Because it's just a bunch of British folk, right? So everyone knew who I was. I got humbled straight away the next day though. Like for SmackDown, there was like, everyone had left and it was just American people. And it was like, who is this chick? And there was nobody <laughs> Okay, I get it. I get it. I still need to grow. But it was such a cool experience. Yeah, oh, yeah. I love oh, that because it just came out of nowhere. Like, dude, so I got backstage and Randy Orton, as soon as I went back, he was like, I love that you won with a leg sweep. I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the day before, a couple of us had just got brought up on the road for WrestleMania. And um, mm -hmm. again, this goes back to the movie. Dwayne actually uh, had texted me on my phone, right? And he was just like, hey, it's DJ. Uh, I would love to speak to you at some point, anytime. And I'm like, who the hell is DJ? So I turned to Dean Malenko and he's like, that's Dwayne Johnson, you idiot. I was like, this is crazy. <laughs> so his assistant came and got me and, and took me there. And I went in there and was like, oh my God, big intimidating man. I was like, hi. He was just like, hey Paige, it's me, Dwayne. And I was like, yeah. Yep, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he was just like, hey, I just want to let you know that you're going to be debuting the next day and, and you're going to be winning the Divas Championship. And I was like, what? And I just started like crying aggressively, dude. Like eyelashes on my forehead, oh. snot bubbles. It was all over. But, like I lost it. Then he was like, okay, but don't tell anyone, all right? And I was just like, I got to walk out. And then Tamina's walking in because Tamina's his cousin, right? So she's going to go say hi. And she looked at me like, what are you doing in there, Paige? Like, and I was like... And I'm crying, and I'm just like, big fan of Dwayne. I just want to say hi, like that. And then just kind of just like shuffled away. I'm like, it's so intimidating by everyone. I'm 21 years old. So then, uh, yeah, I go out, I do the match, come back, and then everything just freaking changes, doesn't it? As soon as you win a championship, that's it. You're blowing, your phone's blowing up. You're freaking in all these medias. You don't sleep. You're on the road. You're like, that's it. You you forget what sleep is once you become the champ. That's it. I like anyone who's the champ, as well as everyone else, but especially if you're the champ. I, like I just have so much respect for you guys, all of you, because you have to do so much work. The day before, or the day, the day that I won the title, like everything just seemed kind of calm. I think I maybe did one one interview that day, um, and then went <laughs> out, had the match, won the title, and I just remember there being a look of like good luck. And the next day, yeah, it was sure. just yeah. constant, like, there was a point somebody asked me to do something, I was like, gonna wait a second, I'm sorry, because I've got, like, three other things to go. It's a very big deal, and it's a lot of work, but I'm so proud to be representing my division, and it's still a bit unreal to me that I'm a champion, like, and I know we've been through some times with me being champion, but... We every defence and every time I get to do an interview, like it's just another chance to push who I am and who my division is and any person that I can get to come and work with me, I hope can then trickle down into the division and all of us can get better. I don't know if that's a responsibility of mine, but that's what I feel like I should do. You and Bailey remind me of each other because she's always Aww. wanted younger talent you know, become better and be better. So you guys are always just like, I will face these ladies, to put them over to the max, you know. It's funny like, you, me you mentioned Bailey, um, because she was someone that even before I was signed, like, I think I met her once at backstage at a show. And then after that, yeah. like, she messaged me once, like, we're doing tapings in Glasgow, would you like tickets? And just to even be considerate of things like that, like, oh, I know someone and, yeah, she was, she was always someone that really made an effort to come over and make sure that you're comfortable and make sure that everything's okay and yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you. That's, that's why I say you remind me of her because, you know, I don't get to be around anyone really a lot as of right now, but the, the stuff I hear about is just that you are just so helpful to everybody. You always want everyone to grow and be better and you're always willing to like let everyone get their 
<laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like, just... It's not just you in the match. There's two people. Um, yeah. And I want, I want to work with all these girls one day and I want them to be at their best. Do you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like, I want all of us at our best. Charlotte and Sasha, I always, we talk about the, the four horsemen. They they do they get a lot of love because you know what? They deserve it. They worked really, really hard in, in this company. But I love all these women and they deserve all the love they get because they, they've worked so hard. And everyone that they go against, they also give 110% in every single match. They, they deliver every single time. For them to all come up at the same time too was wild. We just got this whole give divas a chance trending, right? Because me and the Bellas, and we just got, and Emma, we just got sick of being treated like we were, we were a second four. Like anytime the, the show was going to get cut, it was cut the ladies or cut their time or, you know, everything like that. So there was a lot of, there was a lot of tears in the locker room all the time because we were the first ones to get cut. We didn't get to showcase what we got to do. So me, the Bellas and Emma, we were just, they were like, oh, your time's been cut. You got like five minutes or three minutes or something like that. So we went out there and we did less than two minutes because we were just like, F it. Are you, you can't give us a chance. We're going to take even less time. We're not going to do anything in there, right? Because we were just that frustrated. Mm -hmm. Even if you're yeah. trying to act like it doesn't bother you, we can't hide our emotions. We're human beings. That's, that's what we are. And so we did this really quick match, got back, at, back out. Obviously, we were just like, what the hell were you doing out there? Like, you had so much more time. And we were just like, we're really sorry. Like, his fit was our producer, and he was trying to help us so much. And we were just like, sorry, fit, but we just, like, it's not his fault. It's, it's the, the, you know, the people doing the time and the people thinking that we weren't good enough. Because fit was always the one who was always wanting to showcase us in every way. And so uh, the Give Divas Chance started trending, and then it happened for days after that, which is incredible. And then, you know, Vince is he's like, we hear you. And I'm like, I hope so. <laughs> you know, like, let's make this mm -hmm. happen. They started giving us a little bit more time. But then they started bringing up all the women all together. So then it was kind of like all the women just broke down the door and was just like, okay, if, if you're not going to fully yeah. give it to us, we're going to take it kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And I just felt like that was super cool, especially being with, I was with Charlotte and Becky, and then Sasha was Tamina and Naomi, and then it was the Bellas and Foxy. So we had like a full division going on at this point, which we didn't really have because mm -hmm. at one time it was like, I was married to AJ Lee, then I was married to the Bellas, but then we were just flip-flopping at the time. So I'm like, people are going to get so sick of us, but we're going to keep doing it. We're going to keep changing up our matches. So then to have all this influx of women come up who are all very talented. Like, this was incredible. Oh, I love this. such a cool one. Yeah. Oh, it gives me chills. And that must have been cool for you, like, getting to see yes. the girls coming up as well. Dude, I'm getting, like, chills on my forehead right now. What is happening? Oh, my gosh, yeah. So, I love every single woman in this ring. They all work so incredibly hard. But, like... Yeah. It's so good seeing Becky because I've known her since I was like 11 or 12 years old. But then Charlotte, it was so cool seeing Charlotte because when she first came in, she didn't know a lick of wrestling at all, right? Nothing. She didn't know how to freaking brush mm -hmm. her hair, do her makeup or anything. So she would come to my apartment when she first got there and was just like, can you help me do my makeup for promo class? And she put over Aww. like this freaking night cream she put with concealer. I was like, sis, this is night cream. How are you going to put this on your face, right? This is night because people are sleeping. So like, it was just so cool to see her blossom, especially how she is now. She commands a I, room. I'm like, wow, like you are a star, sister. You are a star. There is natural talent yeah. there, isn't there? Like, could not have even yes. touched it before in your life and come in and be that good. Like, cause she is, she's, yes. she is amazing. Yeah, and I feel like there was, there was a lot of pressure on her because of who her dad was too. She is in her own realm. Like she, she is just a star. Same with Becky, like I remember Becky, Went for a yeah. stage where she completed wrestling, went into acting, went to clown college, I think is yeah. what she did. She did all these crazy things, becoming a, like a, a steward, like she did everything. And then she came back to wrestling again because, you know, you can never stay away from wrestling for too long. Yep. And uh, look at that. And then, so cool. Yeah. Just having all three of them, <laughs> they're like, it's just amazing to see how things can progress and travel through. Because as you said, yeah. everybody is different. There's, you couldn't pick two mm -hmm. girls out of WWE that are exactly the same and having that variety now it's not just women's wrestlers like 
There's all different varieties of women's wrestlers. Talking about different varieties, we're going to talk about Ronda because, I mean, did you think that Ronda was the big mainstream push that we needed to get a main event WrestleMania spot? Because in my opinion, I love Ronda, right? She's one of my good friends. Um, yeah. I feel like she brought a lot of eyes along yes. to watch. Uh -huh. I think it would have always happened. We had the pleasure of had, having Ronda Rousey with us. Um, if she had decided not yeah. to do this, I do think we would have got there, but it would have just taken a lot longer, I think. All right, so we're talking about different styles and how it's just progressed and got bigger. Let's talk about yours and, and Piper's match that you just had. In the first ever NXT UK's Falls Count Anywhere match, which, by the way, I just found out it was the first time and I got chills. I was like, are you kidding me? Just, you know, what we've been speaking about it a lot, just that trickle-down effect, like... We would never have been able to do this if we didn't have the girls before, like absolutely busting their asses yeah. so that we could do this. Um, but again, getting to work with Piper, getting the freedom of you've got time. Like I, I think this match went 20, 25 minutes, and wow. I never thought that was going to be possible for us in NXT UK. But I got to get in there with one of my best pals and do whatever we thought was oh no oh no yeah um oh yeah girl with. history maker that must feel so good a few years ago i didn't think that would have been possible for me yeah. i've actually just thought about something um that is also really quite cool like i don't think i've had a match um apart from takeovers uh, eliminating takeovers but i feel like any title match i've had on nxt uk has been the main event of the episode and that's crazy and that, that's that, that's not yeah. that's, just, that's because of the, the women before us that have shown that women deserve the main event spot and we we should be in these positions and we can hold our own here and it, it, it's literally only just clicked on it right now you're the main event player sister oh my god you need to put out your name somewhere <laughs> That's that crazy. Like, main event, Kaylee, right? Yeah, main event or nothing. You know what I mean? Just stop putting that in your contract. Like, listen, <laughs> listen. Yeah. This needs to happen. What do you think is is next for the women's evolution? All these little moments that we're looking back on and seeing, and seeing how far we've come from that, and seeing what we can do now. Like, I can only imagine where we're going to go next. Dude, I'm so happy for you. I'm so happy for you. I'm so proud of everything you're doing. Like I don't want to sound, I don't want to sound like, I don't know, like one of those people who's just like, I'm so proud of you. Like I'm such like an old school wrestler, but I'm so proud of you because I've known you for so long. You help all of us so much. Like whether you realize it or not, like you actually going, no, I don't want to do this or no, I do want to do this. And at the right moment and putting your foot down, like that could have been a big risk to some of your jobs at the time, but you were willing to stand oh, yeah. by it because you knew this is what we need to do to make it better. And it, it worked, it definitely worked. So thank you for Listen. letting Shit, us have man. a bit more freedom. I'm putting this out here just now, if there is ever a time where you decide to sit back in the ring. <laughs> let's go, we're locking up, lock up. Let's yeah, go. yeah, yeah, like, let's do it, let's do it. Um, no, I would love yeah, to do you. Thank I, you so much. Of course, I always said you, Piper. I love Tony Storm. I like absolutely would love to wrestle her. Oscar, you know, like there's like a handful of women, and you were definitely one of them. So, thanks, Kaylee. Thank you for your time, sister. It was really fun talking to you. It was a blast. Thank you.